During World War I, women replaced men in the workforce. As a result, in 1916, Ashe Fille, a school exclusively for women, was founded by 30-year-old Luli Senua. This institution was a pioneer in women's third-level education. The empowerment of women continued with the right to vote in 1945, along with more freedom granted to married women in 1965. In 1973, the competition to access HEC was opened to women. In 1975, the HEC Jeune Fille School closed its doors. In 1976, the first mixed gender cohort at HEC Paris was named Mona Lisa. En fait, la mixité a introduit une ouverture aux besoins de tous, qui n'était peut-être pas le cas quand il n'y avait que des garçons sur le campus. In 1980. André Blondeau confirmed that the HEC Jeune Fille degree was equivalent to the HEC degree. In 1988, Véronique Neertz was appointed Secretary of State for Consumer Affairs in France. In May 1991, Edith Cresson became the first woman to be appointed as French Prime Minister. HEC women played crucial roles in various sectors, opening notable paths for HEC women in the media and political arena. Over time, HEC women seamlessly integrated the alumni network, actively contributing to the community. In 2001, the HEC Women's Club was launched. In 2005, Mercedes Era was appointed as HEC alumni's first female president. And in 2007, the Trajectories Prize was created to recognize the inspiring careers of HEC's female graduates. Women continue to reinforce their empowerment, strengthening their position and influence, with Danielle Bousquet elected as Vice President of the French National Assembly. In 2011, the Cope Zimmerman Law introduced quotas in boards of directors and supervisory boards. S'il n'y a pas de quota, Il n'y aura pas une évolution naturelle suffisamment rapide pour faire changer les comportements. In 2012, the establishment of HEC Stand Up to promote female entrepreneurship. And in 2013, Mireille Fauger became the second woman elected as president of HEC Alumni. Today, HEC women have access to positions that were once reserved for men, such as Stephanie Jiquel and Clarisse Kremer in extreme sports, Marion Boucher in fighter aviation, Nathalie Beccar at the Vatican, and many more. HEC women have become significant donors for the foundation, and for the first time, a space within the school bears the name of one of them. This overall progress for HEC women has been possible thanks to many inspiring women, such as Luli Senua, alongside men involved in this cause, such as André Blondeau. Under the current presidency of Hélène Bourbelou, the HEC Women's Club has increased the number of seats on its board to include men, and the club has been renamed HEC We and Men.